Hi, my name is Bruce Whitfield. This is ECN 423, Section 1, Homework 9, Problem 14.20. This is the VHDL for the basic vending machine. Right here is the entity, BVM, which stands for basic vending machine, with the port having um, clock reset, which is in uh, one bit in standard logic, and N, D, and Z. N stands for nickel, D for dime, and Z for zero one bit in standard logic and vc which stands for vending vend and c stands for change and uh it's an out and it's two bit in standard logic here's the architecture which is the behavior of the basic vending machine i created a uh, type called state type it has state 0 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 and 45 which uh, stands for each time you put either a uh, nickel or a diamond. And then I have a signal I created, uh, C state, N state, which stands for current state, next state, and it's of state type. And then I have a process right here with sensitivity list, clock, and reset. Uh, if the reset is enabled, then the current state is going to be state zero. And uh, else if, if a clock event happens and clock is enabled, uh, so at the rising edge, then current state is equal to next state. I end the if in the process, and then I have process with sensitivity list of current state, next state, nickel, dime, and zero. I clear the output, um, and uh, so VC is zero, zero. Uh, <clears throat> case, and I have the selector as current state, is when uh, state, so when in state zero, um, the output is zero zero, so nothing is being vended and there's no change. If uh, Z is enabled, then the next state is state zero. Else, if a nickel is being inserted, then the next state is state five. If a dime is inserted, next state is state ten. I mean that if and when in state five, VC is zero zero, so still no change and nothing being vended. If Z is equal to 1, so no nickel or dime being inserted, then next state is going to be state 5, so it'll stay at that state. But if a nickel is inserted, it'll go to state 10. If a dime is inserted, go to state 15. And then in state 10, um, the output is still 0, 0. And uh, if Z equals 1, the next state is state 10. And if a nickel is inserted, the next state is state 15. And if a dime is inserted, the next state is state 20. And then when it is in state 15, the output stays the same, 0, 0. If uh, z equals 1, it will remain in state 15. If nickels inserted, it will go to state 20. If a dime is inserted, it will go to state 25. When it is in state 20, the output remains 0, 0. And if z is enabled, then the next state will remain at state 20. And if a nickel is inserted, then the next state is state 25. And if a dime is inserted, the next state is state 30. When in state 25, uh, the output remains at zero, 00 and if Z is enabled it will stay in state 25 and if a nickel is inserted it will go to state 30 and if a dime is inserted it will go to state 35 when in state 30 output is zero, 00 if Z is enabled then it will stay in state 30 if nickel is inserted it will go to state 35 if a dime is inserted it will go to state 40 when it is in state 35 the output remains at zero, 00 and if uh, Z is enabled then the next state will be state 35, but if a nickel is inserted, it will go to state 40. And if a dime is inserted, it will go to state 45. And when it's in state 40, the output is 1, 0, which stands for one item, that an item is being vended and there's no change being given. If Z is enabled, the next state is state 0. And if a nickel is inserted, the next state is state 5. And if a dime, it will go to the next state will be state 10. And then when it is in state 45, the output is 1, 1 which stands for uh, an I the item being vended and uh, change being given, which, which means one nickel is being given back. If Z is enabled, then the next state is state zero. And if a nickel is inserted, the next state is state five. And if a dime is inserted, the next state is state 10. I end the if, and I end the case, and the process, and in the architecture. And that is all for the VHDL for the basic vending machine. Thank you.